Now, how you hold the scissors is really important. So, the scissors has the little tail there, that's for your little finger. And then the next finger, and this is for your thumb. And the other two fingers go like this. So, let's have you look at it like that. And that's how you're going to get control of the scissors. Little finger, the next one, these two, and then the thumb and the thumb one. And the whole idea is you want to have lots of control over where the scissor goes. When you first put the scissors in your hand, it's going to flop around like a dead fish. You're just, it's not going to do what you want it to do. And the reason is you have to train your fine motor muscles on how to hold the scissors. It's just like learning how to hold a pencil or a pen, or how to hold a knitting needle or a crochet hook. The first time you hold it, it just doesn't seem to want to do what you want it to do. After a while, it gets much better. Now, here's how you practice. You get everything in the right spot, and I want you to practice with a door jam, going up and down the door jam. Oh, the lighting isn't very good here. I hope you can see. So you, you hold it right like that, and then you practice opening and closing it, going up and down the door jam. Do that twice a day for a few minutes. Up and down the door jam. You can also go up and down walls. Once you keep practicing with that, you'll get the fine motor muscles working so that any way you want to hold the scissors, you have control of them, and they're going to do what you want them to do, not what they want to do and is just sort of luck. So practice going up and down, up and down, this is not helping, <laughs> and you've got that control of it. They do have rubber stoppers that you can put around the thumb guard and that will help you get control of what you're doing. So this is how you hold it and practice. Okay, that's all.